Hi, I'm Bahar from Rescue TV and I'm absolutely delighted to introduce you to Emma Isaacs, one of the women I most admire in Australia, the founder of Business Chicks. Welcome to Rescue. Thank you, it's great to be here. Tell us a little bit about the background of Business Chicks and um, the plans for the future because I think it's one of the most innovative and wonderful assets to the Australian business climate. Thank you, thank you, that's sweet of you to say. Um, I've had somewhat of a back to front career if you like. I've actually never worked for anyone else before so I've always been an entrepreneur and I, um, through a series of kind of fateful circumstances, I found myself um, in a position when I was 18 years old of running a recruitment company. Um, so that was my first sort of foray into business and I led that business for about seven years. Um, we had some great success. We won you know, some great awards and built a really, really strong business and a really great culture and team. And after about seven years, I think I went through what people do go through in their personal lives. You know, I sort of call it the seven, the, year itch. The seven year itch and that happened to me in business. And I just started to think about what was next and what was, you know, on the horizon. And it was about that time that someone, like a girlfriend said to me, you should come along to this business chicks thing. And, I, and I'm, you know, I'm a feminist probably like you. And I thought business chicks, I'd never go to anything that called themselves business chicks, you know, but I thought I'll, I'll give it a go. And I went along and I absolutely fell in love with the concept. It was um, like nothing else I'd ever seen before. So tell us about the concept for those of us who haven't been yeah. to one of your amazing events. Yeah, yeah. So it started out as just an event you went to kind of four or five times a year. It was just in Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne. Um, and when I bought the business, I realised that it wasn't sustainable and a purely events model is not a business to run, right? I started to reinvent it and um, now we're ostensibly a media business, you know, so we have content on our site. Um, at businesschicks.com.au. We publish a print magazine quarterly and we produce about 70 events around the country in Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth and Canberra. So tell us about the event and uh, I think one of the things that at the beginning of a year or when something big has happened in your life and you, you're thinking, I need something. Hmm. Tell us a little bit about what you do and that aha moment that you bring to people's lives. Well, I think for us, the events piece is really about two things. It's about connecting with other people and obviously networking and, and, and building your network. Um, that's really important. So a lot of people use the events to meet new people and to entertain clients or to um, bring their teams together. Um, but we also, you know, really try and push the inspiration envelope, if you like. So we're, we're blessed to have some really amazing speakers take the stage at Business Chicks. So we've heard from people like Richard Branson and um, Diane von Furstenberg. And, that was an amazing Yeah, event. it was good fun, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, Ida Buttrose, Danny Minogue, Olivia Newton-John, Bob Geldof. So, you know, we, we spend our time trying to find people who have inspirational stories to tell and then we share those with, with our community. So sometimes um, the, the real stories eclipse that of the celebrity stories. And I know you have some amazing stellar people speak at your events, but uh, you also have some unsung heroes that mm -hmm. just really transform the way you think about life. Yeah, and it's beautiful to temper the celebrity stories with the real life, you know, ordinary people doing pretty extraordinary things. So we've had people like the Australian woman, her name's Gemma Sissia, she travelled to Tanzania and met and fell in love with her tour guide there and married him and set up a school over there and it's doing phenomenally well, the School of St Jude. So she's spoken for us and such a story of inspiration. She's this country girl who you know took on the world and she's doing phenomenal things over there and you know we recently had Somali Mam who was sex trafficked as a really really young girl and now she rescues um, you know other young girls from brothels in Cambodia and Thailand so yeah they're the stories that really make you stop and question you know what you're up to in your life and and what you're responding to yeah because I think sometimes unless you hear that story you don't even think about you know what am I doing how am I contributing sure. to the world yeah yeah sure I mean we, we live very blinkered lives in Australia and we have absolutely nothing to complain about and yet these speakers and stories just kind of disrupt that and make you think hang on, you know, what else can I be doing and, you know, what's, what's, my, what's my game to play? What, what am I here to contribute? Well, you contribute so much <laughs> and I applaud you and I definitely invite our readers and our members to um, attend a Business Chicks event because it really is transformative and so good for the soul. Um, so, well done. Congratulations. Thank you.